Hi, this is Matthew Denmark. I'm Leroy. Ah! And uh, we had a customer complaint that he uh, doesn't have any hair right. So we're going to change his hair bags. Uh, Tom and uh, Mike are going to go get the new one. And also, we got a couple of airlines to need to be replaced too. So we're going to be doing that as well. So they're going to go get them, swap out. We and Matt are going to stay here. We're going to change out this airbag. All right. Y'all ready, guys? Yeah. Great. All right. Start explaining. Be like, this guy's down here doing A, B, C, and D. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're all recording. <laughs> hey. How you doing? It's Tom. I'm pulling off an airbag. I'm Mike. I'm doing the same damn thing. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're taking off this airbag because it is faulty as hell. And actually, you know what? We can't be saying that. <laughs> we'll edit that out. Yeah. Just say your lines again and we but, can keep editing. But we, we're taking out this airbag here because we, it is faulty, and we're being just putting on a new airbag here, replacing all the lines and fittings on here. Guess what, guys? Stripped out the bolt? Nope. Okay. So, so we we'll hope that there's a way to put another bolt in there. Uh, probably just need to take the one out of this one. Let's try. Let's see which one doesn't break. Uh... That is the same bag? I'm not going to say nothing. Yes, sir. But if you're that strong, you need to have more relations with your wife. Who? <laughs> looks, like, looks like I'm cutting out all the sound. <laughs> We're going down. Why don't you take that, that here back? That one is so much better. Well, now that I broke the bolt up the bottom of that one, I'm try it. And that one. Yeah. Broke it. Did they go through? Yeah, they go through. So yeah. I can put a different bolt in it? Yeah, well, yeah, if you can get it out. I can get it out. Shit, I can make anything. Break anything you want me to. I can. You're not as good as Evan. You're not as good as Evan. Very simple on this. All you're doing is three bolts. Move the airbag up. We have the suspension. It just has one stud up. in the bottom of it. You know we're recording, right? Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom and Mike's garage. <laughs> oh. the, one I, the ones that I did on my dad's, they had two bolts like that on the top, two bolts like that on the bottom. Yeah. Well, well, these but these, these don't. usually have one now. Did you go with the single and the coupler? Yeah. And then that's, that's crazy, but because it's the it's the base plate. Well, even the ones on the Navigator in the Continental, they yeah. got two bolts on the yeah. bottom. Yeah, but the base plates of these only got one. Which that's not so good because what we're doing. Damn right. As he said proudly. Everybody's safe, so that's all I want. Yes, to sir. Know. That's why we made sure there's two jack stands. You got it. It's just a pain getting in here. Normally, there'd be a bunch of other stuff in your way. Sometimes they loosen up. What's going to happen? It's, it's getting tight because, yeah, you brought it out. And voila. There's your airbag. Just looks like such. Woohoo. And then on the bottom, that's that bolt up. And the base came out of the other one, so. You know what? We definitely got to get that out because the airbag is not going to. It's A. So you had to take off an airbag. <clears throat> First thing you want to do. Well, all your air out of the, out of your lines. So, put off all the pressure. Then, you want to take off your air line. So, you can go to the bed, on the stairs, the big bed.
fix. Make sure the truck is lifted at this point. There you go, bad ear back out. Making sure that we got the tension off the bag. Once you take the tension off the bag, it's pretty easy. Like I said, it's the top half. Bottom half of the bag. This is the pushing for the bag. Pushing. Uh, uh, pushing is the uh, base. Uh, it's the uh, airbag plate. Yeah. Alright. Now, what we got? Matt and Dog on Mike. Me and Tom. We're going to go work on putting a dang on tank for the air on the other side of this dang on bobtail with the no head. So, what up? This is what we're working with right here. And she ain't beautiful, but she's sufficient. So, we're definitely install the inlet valve and the inlet for the uh, air. Did a little makeshift plugging. And we're eventually going to put a, a air pressure gauge on here. So, Right now we're looking pretty good. Plug is what we're gonna get. This is gonna be our feet side. So at some point we're gonna get a feet valve out here. So we're gonna supply the airbags up front from this tank. We pressurize it, roll this thing around, demonstrate. This is all kind of just a mock-up, so things could change throughout the uh, process. But for now, general idea. So. Other than welding this together, what else do you think we need to do to it? We gotta get something to play to be front. So, air in right here, access point if we need, and an actual feed for this system alone. This would be so if you wanted to run separate air to demonstrate to you. Alright, so we got our fitting here. We put on the stuff on the so that we can get some nice, nice, nice seat. Step on the tape all the way around. Go ahead and follow. All right, now that it's installed, we're going to have the weight going. Follow the joint, bring it back around. Alright, installing the airbag. We got our first top two bolts already started, and we already got our bottom bolts started too. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to Once you got it snug, the top ones get them snug. After that, just tighten all down. Alright, 
Now, what we got is extensive back, the dog on mic. Me and Tom, we're going to work off putting the paint for the air on the other side of the thing. All I got left is the ball. Okay. And for it backwards. Rabbit ears? <laughs> now wait till you see the video. Put the teeth. Connect the two. Oh. Sure, and Connect the two uh, lines together. If we're going, if you, the distance allows you to have more or less there if needed. And usually it's just sideways, but if it's too much, it'll take air. Or if it's too much of an increase, it'll take air out. Too much of an increase, it'll take air out. It's a leveling valve. It adds air, it takes away air depending on your level. I cover that back. The green line is off. This is usually hooked up to your airbag. I'll fix it. show them the two lines. But maybe I would have pulled this one off. Two lines. I don't think y'all can see them. Right here. One in, one out. Two lines. There you go. One in, one out. All right. All right, so we finished up. We did a lot more than add an airbag. We had to replace some lines as well. So, we added the airbag and put a valve on it so we can release it. And we added a leveling valve, which we are also going to have to level out. But we had to run some new lines, as you can see here. Ran these new lines to the airbags. We had to run a, a line on this airbag from the front to the back. Now we also, of course, like we were doing, uh, we were doing before. We added this tank, and on the tank we also added a pressure gauge right on the top here. And of course, we had the valves which you had before still. So the pressure gauge. And like we said, we turned, we made that into a feeder valve. So now we're going to demonstrate that everything we hooked up works. I've already pressurized the tank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the air here. As you can see, the bags are dropping. Yeah. I wanted to do it with you guys. I was like, I'm just going to hit it on the front. So now the bags are dropping. If you look at the other bags here in the front, they've already dropped. 
sugar please. Drop them right now. So I'm hitting the leveling valve, which is now sending the air. I'm still stuck in the other one to the front. And we're letting the air out. Yeah, we'll put one over there. So, as you can see, the bags are now collapsed. So, what we're going to do, so we're going to hit close everything. See, I'm just going to activate it again to show everybody that it works. Alright. See? Let me know when you're ready. Ready as can be. Not enough yet. Hold on. So we're pressurizing the tank right now. If you can watch the gauge, it's going to get the shock pressure. That's about it right there. So now the bags are filling back up and you can see pressure is actually going to start dropping in the tank and the bags are filling back up again. You see the tires starting to move from the suspension starting to stand up. So the airbags are filling up. Pressure dropping in the tank. Tank's still closed. Leave it open. Repressurizing the tank. Looks like it's full. What? You alright? And that's how the suspension works. Well, that's how we re uh, reconnect the air suspension on this Peterbilt uh, frame, bobtail frame. And it goes to work. It was me, Matt, Mike, the freaking Tom. So, everything's awesome, and we're out.